Hey everybody, it's Liz. Today I'm coming at you with another project for Sawcrafter Shop. I will put the link down below to her store so you guys can go take a look if you haven't already. And I will also leave the discount code down below as well. Um, the discount code this month is Liz Sam, and it'll get you 10% off your purchase of $30 or more. And of course, Saw has some amazing products in her store, um, great, great pricing and affordable shipping as well. So you will not be disappointed. Okay, um, these are some of the items that I used for my project. I'm just going to share with you really quick before I jump into the actual project. Now, I did paint um, some of the edges on my project. I made a little cupboard with a shadow box, and this is the paint that I used. It's Craftsmart uh, in white and uh, the Craftsmart in gray. Basically, what I did is I used um, this with just a few drops of this gray to tone down the white. I didn't want a stark white, and I sort of wanted a, a grayer um, tone, if you will. So this is the combination I used. Okay, and I also used... Um, Pumice Stone Distress Ink by Tim Holtz because it went really, really well with the paper collection I used. Absolutely perfect color. And um, the paper collection I used is called Rustic Harmony by Kaiser Craft. And it is a beautiful, beautiful collection, you guys. It's got a lot of grays, uh, tea, uh, not teals, but peach color, um, some mint green. It's a beautiful collection. These are the collectibles that I did use in my project. You get a ton of them. And then this is the paper collection here. Now these are just single sheets, but this is the uh, Rustic Harmony by Kaiser Craft. Absolutely gorgeous collection, okay? And now here is my project. It is the, um, it's called The Cupboard with Shadow Box. And it is so cute. Absolutely easy to put together. Super easy. I didn't even have to watch Saw's video. It was just very, very simple. And, um, like I said, I did paint the edges that were not going to be covered with the paper in that combination of um, acrylic paint colors. And for some reason, my camera is not focusing, is it? Here we go. Okay, good. Finally. Sorry about that, guys. But um, there it is. And I think it turned out really, really cute. And of course, it's a cupboard with a shadow box. So you can definitely use this part as a shadow box. Have a picture, add some embellishments, whatever you like. But in this case, I wanted to use it for storage. I wanted to store these cute little lace, um, uh, what's it called, little lace spools or whatever inside. And I'll share those in just a second. But uh, this is the cabinet. I'm going to take this out real quick so it doesn't fall when I try to turn it around. But these are the little um, little lace things that I used. I'm going to store these. And I picked these up. These are from Michaels, you guys. Um, the dollar, not the dollar bin, but the $2 bin. You know how they have these little lace spools? It's actually a little spool. I bought this spool. I used this as the packaging, and then this is the lace. So, perfect. Um, and I thought that would be, and I have more, so I'm going to use a ton, um, you know, use them here for my lace um, storage. So, I fit. that's a perfect perfect storage solution. But look how pretty, right? It turned out really, really nice. And the papers are just gorgeous. I love, love the shape on the sides of the cabinet and on the front. It's just such a great detail. And of course, you can see all of the paint um, spattering that I did. Um, I wanted to make it look, um, you know, because it's got like that rustic feel, you know, from the wood grain. And I just wanted to add some paint to add to that rustic um, look. Okay, so I just did, you know, spattering all over. The whole thing is, you know, covered with paper, even the bottom, you know, except, of course, the edges. But here you can see what I did after I painted. I sanded all a little the, the edges to give it that distressed look, and then I went over it with the pumice stone. So look how pretty. I love it. Saw does a great job on these, you guys. She really does. And then once you add your papers and everything, it just becomes such a really pretty piece. And uh, these are the doors. Like I said, it was very, very easy to put together. And there's storage space behind here as well. And inside, I just painted it, but I did cover the back with the paper. Okay, really, really cute. For my doorknobs, I used the Kaiser Craft wood flourishes that I thought would go really well. I painted them using that same combination of paint. And then the little brad um, in the center, or the little knob, is actually a brad from Graphic 45. And I just took off the prong, I painted it with a gunmetal um, just uh, acrylic paint, and then went over it with that same white combination of acrylic paint. So, really, really pretty. Then I just steered them on there, I adhered them on there with some E6000. And they make for really pretty handles, door handles, really cute. And this is the top here. I love that paper. So pretty, very rustic looking. And I wanted to pick up on some of the peach. 
you know, in the flowers. So I wanted to add, you know, a few peachy embellishments. And what I did here is I didn't want to cover the whole, you know, top. I just wanted to do a little cluster here in the middle or in the side. And what I did, I started off with those spools that I was telling you about from Michaels. These are the spools. And I went ahead and I painted them um, using that same com combination of paint. I distressed all of the edges. You can see that. I did that with a sanding block. And then I went ahead and used some pumice stone on there. And then I just added a few little pieces of peach trim and lace that I had in my stash. And then I just have them, you know, sitting in the back. And the purpose is to hold up that frame and then also just to add a decorative, um, you know, look to the little cupboard. And uh, this little frame here is actually a Christmas ornament I had picked up last season, Christmas season. And I love the wood look, of course. You guys know how much I'm into the whole, you know, natural wood. But I did ink the edges with the pumice stone. And then I added a couple of pearls just in, um, you know, some areas, some gray pearls that I thought would go really well. And here's where I used some of the collectibles. This is one of them here. It's like a little postcard. I inked all of the edges and then I popped it with some foam to give it dimension in just this beautiful moment. It's really pretty. And then I've got a little butterfly up there that's also part of the collectible collection. And then these here, uh, let me see if I could hold it with this hand. This here is like a little doily that came in the collectible collection and I just cut it in half. I added one half here and one half there and it sort of looks like a little fan. Okay, and it adds great detail to the background to my cluster of flowers. And then I have several flowers for my stash. Uh, I've got a peach one, white, and some ivory. And then those little gray rosebuds, I, well, yeah, I think they're rosebuds. I painted those myself and those, um, basically what I did is I just took pumice stone um, the distress ink and then I colored each of these little flowers using that color because it's such a perfect color for this collection and then as you can see I just have them inside my cluster you know in different areas look how pretty and then the green leaves are all by spellbinders I use my spellbinders foliage dye to die cut those out of some green cardstock and then I have them kind of coming in and out from the uh, cluster of flowers really pretty and then here you can see some of that little lace that I used. I kind of wanted it to peek out from the cluster, but in some areas the, um, the flowers actually covered the lace. So you can only see it in that area right there. And then I added some pearls too. I wanted the look of pearls. You guys know I love my pearls. Back here I have a key. And this is um, also from Michaels, I believe, from the $1.50 section or $2 section. And then I just went over it with that paint, just a few little smudges here and there of paint. There's another pearl in the back, as you can see, that one's like a light peachy pink color. I thought it would go really well with the, you know, the colors. And let me see, over there is another pearl. And then here I used some of that pretty lace that I picked up and I have it um, just adhered to the paper in just little areas because I wanted to, you know, leave it dimensional. I didn't want it to be flat, so it looks really pretty. And basically it just comes from that spool that I have here. So see there's the lace and then I wanted it to be like, a, you know, unraveling. So I thought that was just pretty. Love this back, right? All the splattering. Looks really cool. There we go. Really, really pretty. I love it. And then over here, this is the shadow box area. I covered the entire thing with paper except the top. Everything is ink with the pumice stone and there's some more paint splattering going on in there. And then up here, this is another one of the pieces, the collectible pieces. It's like a little border sticker, not sticker, but a little um, die cut. And I cut some of it off so that it can go, it can, um, you know, adhere on here perfectly, just the right size. And again, all of the edges are ink with the pumice stone. And like I said, you can definitely use this area for a shadow box. You can add a little picture frame, a couple of little embellishments and flowers, and it would be beautiful. But I did want to use mine for storage, and I thought it's just perfect. So this will just, you know, be sitting on my desk or one of my little cabinets. And I'm going to put, like, all my favorite, um, you know, dainty, pretty laces on these cute little spools spool cards and then just have them in there. I think that would be really pretty. And I haven't decided what I'm going to store in there, but probably more laces and trims, maybe like um, in some little wood spools or something, you know, I think that'd be cute. Because you know how we always reach for certain ones, you know, in all our projects, so I think this is a great way to have it close hand, you know, close by when you, um, when you need it. So that's it, you guys. Really, really simple project. I think, oh, you know what? I didn't, I forgot to mention that I used these little um, corner pieces. Let's see. See the corner piece there? Um, I can't remember where I got those. 
It might have been Saw Crafters back when she was selling metal embellishments. I can't even remember. But I added one there and then one back here. And basically you just adhere them with E6000 and I dabbed some uh, white acrylic paint on top to, you know, give it that more rustic look. And that is it, because, you know, it's like a really shiny metal. I didn't want it to be so shiny. And that's it. That is it. It turned out beautiful. I love it. Like I said, it's such a great piece from Saw Store. And again, I mean, you can change the look of it depending on the papers you use, the colors, everything is just absolutely beautiful. So definitely go check it out. I will put the link down below. And definitely take advantage of that awesome discount code, 10% off your third, uh, $30 purchase. So that's an awesome deal. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you all real soon. Have a great day, everybody.